Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 3 episode number 6. In the previous episode uh, Ashripa's team uh, crossed the border and now they are being targeted by the Russians because uh, Kiranke had apparently assassinated like Alexander II and he has like a bounty on his hand apparent I think and uh, the Russians are like on on like trying to capture him. And Ogata and a, like a sniper from uh, the uh, like Russian army, I think uh, I forgot his name. Anyways, uh, th uh, that's a new character. Uh, they are kind of like facing off against each other, and so Ogata himself is like a pretty damn impressive sniper. And this guy is also like calm and like collected and all. And uh, like so, yeah. Let's see, like who wins, like the sniper in like a sniper. What can I say? Um, battle. Uh, I think it is like said that uh, the sniper who loses patience the f like first loses. So like they'll be have to be extremely patient to wait for an opening and like do the job. So yeah, let's see what uh, actually happens and like what this episode is about. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number six of Golden Kamui season three. Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. Yep. Oh, they found the uh, like body. Yep, tell us your secrets. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing this is um yeah, Alexander the second. Wait a minute. What? Wait, Wilk did it? That's Wilk, isn't it? Yeah. Wait. Oh, so that's the scar. Wait a minute. So why are it's like Kiranka being suspected? Like, is he like given like the blame because he is the only one alive now? Because like as far as like the backstory, like back, like uh, the flashback, according to him, according to him, I don't know if like he's telling the truth or not. So according to like his telling of the backstory, he did nothing. Uh, like Wilk did it. So why is he being like, like why is his name in the posters in wanted posters? Like because of being an accomplice to Wilk. I guess. Okay. Okay, let's see what the actual case is. <clears throat> yeah, he should now like realize that that is of fake or not i don't know if like ogata is really messing with him by yeah
Yeah, Ogata is too unpredictable. Like, who knows? Maybe he really is like that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this is like I don't think Ogata is so foolish to like make a dummy that is so obvious to others like that clearly smells trap and did really Ogata like try to bait him with such a dummy that is like obvious from every angle that it is like a trap I don't know okay Wait, is he on top of a tree or something? Okay. Okay, it really is a decoy. Okay. <laughs> or not. Damn. Okay, where was he? It, it it went through his like cheek. I think he's alive. Wait. So was he really the decoy? He was the decoy, wasn't he? Like it not it did not like show it properly but yeah fever <clears throat> wait wait what is that What the hell is happening? Oh, his his brother, uh, his real brothers, like not real, but uh, like they're from his like father, I think. What? What type of a weird reason is that? Okay. Be, like because he's like feverish, he's like hallucinating, you know. Especially in this cold, like ah. Peter Bush.
What? Who the? What's with his hair? Oh. Oh, okay. Amba. Hmm. What the? Um. You should. He is Ashiban. Like hitting. <laughs> should I just hand? <laughs> Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this was like both of their plan. <laughs> Noble blood. Oh boy. Ogata is mad at that. Hmm. And she actually always go. <laughs> oh, there's something to talk about with Ashripa. Okay, yeah, I was thinking like she actually might like us. A stripper to run away, yeah. Um, I don't think that's uh... a... <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, authentic minorities at the far end. Yeah, there's still a lot of mystery surrounding Wilk. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's his brother, isn't it? Okatas. Oh yeah, um 
Ogata killed him, didn't he? Uh, I kind of forgot the backstory. Like, um, what actually happened? Like, yeah, yeah, or not? Oh no, he did not. Okay. Okay, what's that? He's headaches. Oh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what? Who the? Oh, prisoner. Oh, oh yeah, he was like only the like flag bearer. Like he was only the holding the flag. Yeah. <clears throat> nah. Oh. Oh my god. So he is kind of like a like a what can I say puppet or no not like just a figurehead of the Oh, so he did kill him. Okay, after that incident. And this thing now haunts him. Like, yeah, the guilt he is talking about. There it is. Just like he said. Like, there's not a person who won't feel any guilt killing a person. Damn, like, oh. Oh, like in Karamat. Oh, okay, or not. <laughs> hmm. He 
people will come from there Sugimoto's Sugimoto's team oh hmm Is this a real language? Like they're talking? What? What the hell is his plan? Like But like, but like, Sugimoto gave him a mission, but why is he like, Wow. Um, but you're forgetting uh, Sugimoto asked you to keep Ashripa safe, so... Yeah. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Global taste. Well, he has the, yeah, <laughs> charm. <laughs> okay. Oh no, she actually jinxed it, didn't he? Yep, he jinxed it. Well, uh, bad for them might mean actually like good for Sugimoto's team. So that might be like favorable in this situation. Like Sugimoto is trying to catch up to them and they don't want Sugimoto to catch up to them so bad for them might mean that most probably Sugimoto and like his team would catch up to Shiraishi's team who knows like it can be interpreted that way as well okay one thing I am a bit um I don't know uh like hesitant about is that I'm not sure if like uh, the brother that was shown in this episode uh, like who was calling um, uh, Ogata Anisama uh, like like was he like I'm quite sure like he was like uh, like in one of the backstories we saw in Ogata's like uh, like Ogata's backstory we saw that he had uh, like a father uh, who did not I think accept him I, I, I've forgotten it like I'm not quite uh, like my memory is hazy but there was something about like uh, him not liking his brothers that is like who were or am I mixing it up with something just a sec just a sec I'll check it out like I think I'm mixing it with up with something like oh, just a sec wait a second okay guys uh, I'm, I'm back and i checked it out like uh yeah i was 
not fully but uh, like partially mixing it up with another anime uh, the anime i'm talking about is like vinland saga like there was also another like uh, thing in vinland saga where um uh, uh Asilad was like in kind of like a similar situation to this where he uh, like uh, sucked up to his brothers like actual brothers of his dad and his dad and later on killed them and like uh, killed the uh, like a dad and blamed it on his brothers and uh, i was mixing it up with this one so it is not like it's the same but kind of similar so yeah uh, in his backstory uh, i'm like i like checked it out and my memory should like refresh now so yeah uh, he only had one brother like uh, surumi uh, not surumi uh, ogata and uh, like uh, he was like uh, the miss like uh, the son of one of his mistresses and uh, like uh, his real brother was uh, like uh, th this guy so yeah okay it's like clear now i was like confused at that like all of the like animals mixed up in my head so yeah okay so th uh, this guy uh, was his real brother and we like saw this in one of the previous episodes i don't know if it was in season two or season one i think season two most probably where like we got to know that uh Okata's uh, like how he like killed his brother and we got like a little bit of uh, like uh, backstory at that time but now I think this was like the expanded backstory and uh, when like uh, that episode was shown and his like uh, well, like real like his brother was shown in that episode um, I kind of thought that this guy like I'm talking about the brother this guy looked uh, what can I say kind of like a good person like like usually in like situations uh like this uh usually the like real uh what can i say the real like legitimate like uh child of the person usually turns up to be uh like spoiled brat or like uh, a real bad person selfish type of kind of person like usually and uh, like they are antagonistic towards the like mistress's son or step like half brothers and like uh what can i say like uh talk to them rudely and do stuff bad stuff so but that was not the case so i was a bit like that kind of like stuck into my head like uh this guy is like kind of like a good dude and <clears throat> i think ogata also is like getting uh like like is guilty feeling guilty because of that reason also if like this guy was extremely rude to him or like treated him badly and uh, uh, like uh, yeah if he was like that then i doubt ogata would have like feel, felt as guilty as he is feeling now and uh, the things that he said were what can i say like what were, were correct in a sense because obviously like people feel guilt like whichever person you are killing even if it is like uh, related to your duty of like if you're in an army or something and you're like you have to like kill person every day and like death is something that you are like holding hands with always so if it is something like that even if that is the case you still kind of feel guilty but usually it like lessens day after day you kind of get desensitized of like people's deaths and like killing people but still the thing is there and uh, that might kind of like come back later on as like ptsd or something so he is kind of correct like there is really no person who feels like who does not feel guilt uh, killing other people however like a little is it if, like in some people it is like well hidden and some people do not like understand that they're feeling guilt or something it does not come out but there it is it is it, like it exists so and this kind of like is proved to ogata by like after killing his own brother he is now like feeling guilty and seeing kind of like the phantom of his own brother in his dreams whenever he is like in fever or stuff like that whenever he's weakened he's like seeing uh, the phantom of his brother and uh, that is kind of like haunting him this is the result of the guilt so like this is like the funny thing the person whom he killed because he did not like his explanation of that yeah you like there is no person who does not feel guilt he did not like that explanation and most probably thought that that was a naive way of thinking so he killed him uh like that so this is the funny thing like the person who he killed like that to deny uh like to deny uh like thing that he said the same person is now haunting him and like is making him like feeling guilt like feeling guilt guilty and 
yeah like this is like what goes around comes back around and this is a perfect example of that and <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, I was quite surprised by the like explanations they gave here, like uh, being a virgin and like being able to like uh, like uh, a person who is like holding the flag should be a virgin because like he uh, like what did they actually say something about um, being pure so that uh, like some kind of power or something? I'm not sure. I, I like lost that portion. But it was something like that, like being uh, like pure so that you can, uh, like gods can come, like, oh yeah, being lucky because of that. So, yeah, so obviously like, uh, like this kind of like felt the guy who was like uh, holding the flag, even though he is kind of at uh, like uh, greater position of dying because obviously like he is the like front runner, he's like running in front holding just a flag he can't even like like defend himself if someone oh no he has the sword with him so yeah he can kind of defend himself but still like uh he's not accustomed to killing people so yeah like uh like it kind of like makes me feel like this is kind of what can i say making uh like him a figure head of like he is like what can i say uh respected and what uh like yeah, he's kind of respected in that way because obviously like people uh, like he is running in front of everyone and people think that yeah he is like someone who is giving us encouragement and all but even though like he's doing all of that he himself has not killed anyone he's like he's not uh, staining his own hand with blood and uh, it kind of like what can I say uh, like the thing that Ogata was also doing, like he like uh, like took a prisoner and asked his brother to kill him, and said uh, uh, something that uh, is really I cannot deny that he said that uh, why are, are you the only person who would be able to uh, leave uh, scot free, like not um, like staining your hand with blood? You can't be the only person like uh, finishing the, this war in that state. So like, what does that make us? So he asked him to like kill that guy, but obviously like that like his brother was not accustomed to it, and a person who has not killed anyone would obviously be like uh, rattled and uh, like feel more like as he was saying guilt uh, to like suddenly kill a person. So he was unable to do that. But yeah, like uh, I can kind of understand like him going in front with the flag because obviously like as he said morale of the whole army. Is like resting on him but I don't like uh, agree with the fact that he has not killed anyone like yeah like your uh, teammates are like also in the army they're also like fighting for the country you're also fighting for the country so why is it that only you will be not staining your hands with blood does that make uh, like what does that make them then so and what does that make you doesn't like I, I kind of like do not agree with that i think like even if like he is like a f like holding the flag and everything uh he should be at least uh tasked with uh the same duties that his uh comrades have been given that is like go in front and kill uh, like the enemy and uh get like the victory like army and like war is just like that you are like given one task go out in the battlefield fight for your country and uh, if you are like lucky you will be alive and if you are not lucky you will like die while, uh, like fighting for your country like that is basically war so <clears throat> i don't think like um up, like up, there should like i don't think there should be an exception to that rule for only one person like uh that kind of makes uh what can i say like uh, i don't know like that really does not um, sit well with me at least not well with me uh, so yeah so i think like in that sense ogata was kind of correct but like still he should not have like kills like his own brother like that just because of like their um uh what can i say uh ideologies did not match uh i don't know like these are like extremely complicated stuff like there is a lot of things happening in here a lot of like heavy stuff that is like happening in this anime and uh like I've seen this thing like thinking about it like no one not a single character in this anime is at fault here like each and every person is doing everything 
that what can i say is correct in their own standpoint in their own like world view like uh, ogata like this like ogata has his own uh, like reasons own like uh, objective uh, same with uh, kiroranke um, uh, surumi and everyone each and every one so like it is really hard to like um, hate a character because he is bad like there is like no bad characters like evil characters in this anime each and every person is doing everything uh, due to their own like what can i say uh, like own objective like own like there is a like uh, saying that uh, like uh, evil like uh, bad things or good things are subjective like to one person which is bad to another person that is like standing on the opposite side that is good and the other thing is bad so it is like subjective like this is the thing like this like this is the same with this anime like uh, these people are like already have killed people have done a lot of like what can i say things for their own duty they are like people in the army so whatever the hell they are doing now uh, for their own what can i say objective and everything for their own ideals they are correct in their own way but like a few things which are like uh, not correct that they are doing obviously like ogata like shooting um uh, was that Sugimoto? Yeah, Sugimoto and stuff like Ogata also like killing his brother from behind. Those are not correct, but still like, like I can't like uh, fault them for it because obviously like if you uh, like if in a war like a person kills the enemy uh, like enemy uh, what can I say army a person from the enemy army like you cannot like blame him for that because that was his duty. And that was something that he was supposed to do to like uh, keep himself alive just like i don't know like there's these are a lot of few like uh, things that i'm like uh like a lot of complicated lot of like uh, things so yeah like as i was saying like this is more like uh anime which where you cannot kind of like uh blame a person like blame a character in this anime like each and every one is doing something uh, which is correct in their own eyes and yeah so yeah that was uh basically this episode um and uh okay another thing we got to know about is like wilk was so wilk was the one who assassinated um uh, alexander the second and uh kiruranke like helped him get out of that place so like why is kiruranke wanted now i think most probably because he was like an uh, accomplice to him like even though he did not kill the person like uh, assassinate alexander the uh, second with his like own hand but still he was an accomplice so now he's like being hunted down by the uh, like uh, russian uh, government so yeah and uh, that guy uh, so yeah another thing is like as i was saying so i think like uh, the trap that uh, ogata laid the thing with the like white cloth and uh, so I uh, in the previous episode I kind of thought that was a trap but here I think like Ogata really was in that wasn't he like he like uh, so what he I think actually did was like he made a, like an obvious trap which people would think that is a dummy and tricked the other guy and he, but he was sitting in there I think like uh, with the snow in his mouth and uh, he like made a like fake trail up into the trees where there like the uh, coffin was up in the trees and like that so that uh, the other person would get tricked and shoot that coffin which would like give away his position and ogata can like shoot him so yeah as i said like snipe like when there's like a fight between two, two snipers the person who loses patience first usually dies so the same thing but i'm not sure if like that guy died because his uh, like cheek got pierced and like it went like sideways so i'm guessing like it kind of penetrated here and went out of here like the same way like in season one well ogata uh, where sugimoto was stabbed by like uh, dumpling uh, skewers in his mouth by uh, nihe uh, like the same way no no sorry not nihe uh, it was um uh, surumi yeah surumi i kind of mixed that up when like they were eating like dumplings and surumi suddenly like stabbed sugimoto in his like cheeks the same way i think the bullet went past it i'm not sure uh, he might be alive so yeah and after that there was the thing with uh, the whole brother situation and i think like surumi was also trying to like uh, manipulate the whole situation for his own uh, like uh, objective like his objective 
and uh, surumi at that time uh, uh, ogata at that time was working for surumi uh, so yeah and uh, yeah and then like ogata did that thing like he tried to like he asked uh, his brother about uh, like uh, keeping his hand clean and like gave his brother an option to kill the person but he did not he was unable to and like he tried to uh, like uh, make ogata feel better f about himself like uh, try to like help him because ogata is kind of like uh what can i say little bit uh broken yeah like he is kind of what can i say suffering from a lot of things when like uh, so i think his like brother tried to help him about that but it failed and he got shot from behind and yeah and then like uh Shiyashi thought about like running away with ashripa but ashripa uh, did not um what can i say uh want that then obviously like Shiyashi, as he is like the escape king he always like runs away from places he thought about like leaving them behind but Tsumoto's like words came back to him and like as he had like given him a duty to uh, help Ashripa and to be with Ashripa. So, yeah. And uh, she actually also kind of jinxed the whole fortune telling and <laughs> the like bone suddenly like started breaking up, like cracking. And it like uh, signifies bad luck for them. And I'm not sure if bad luck for them actually means good luck for Sugimoto or not. They might be like catching up to Ben. So, like, it is bad luck for them. So, who knows? Let's see in the next episode going to happen so yeah guys this was episode number um six of golden kamui season um three so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode or the anime itself i'll be sure to check them out uh so yeah guys i'll be back with a new golden kamui episode uh, next week same time so yeah until then goodbye and have a nice day